Hello and welcome to the demo of the SQL Connector for Jira Cloud. The SQL Connector for Jira Cloud is a third-party application that can be installed at your Jira Cloud instance. This no-code and user-friendly integration solution from AlphaServe allows users to directly export Jira Cloud data to SQL databases in minutes. In this short demo, you will see an overview of the app and how easily you can export Jira Cloud data to SQL databases. For more details, Details, please visit our other resources located under this video. So let's get started. You can access the full app version with a 30-day free trial. The application can be installed only by the administrators with the relevant permission. At the Atlassian Marketplace, the SQL Connector for Jira app users can find a lot of useful information related to the pricing, privacy and security, and support. Please note that the pricing is based on the overall number of the active users of your Jira, not only on those users who are going to use the application. As soon as the application is installed, by default it becomes available only for the users with administrative privileges. Administrators can grant a permission to work with the app with a specific user or user groups under the administration tab. As soon as permission is granted, user can find the application under the Apps tab. Before configuring the data sources, it's highly recommended to set up all tokens. There are a dedicated step-by-step -step guide on how to set up a specific token under each token tab. Please note, if you don't have a third-party application installed at your Jira instance, the step with configuring tokens for the third-party applications can be skipped. Please pay attention that all the users who are going to use the application should configure the tokens individually, otherwise users may not receive expected tables or encounter empty tables. For more details, please refer to the documentation. It's important to note that all the data will be exported according to the Jira Cloud permissions. All levels of permissions are applied. Jira Cloud application access, browse project permission, uh, issue security and third-party applications permissions as well. In other words, users are able to export only the data they have access to. Also, before exporting data, we kindly recommend you to create a separate database for Jira data export and add its configurations to SQL Connector. Since it's just a recommendation, feel free to export Jira data in a convenient way for you. You can use our comprehensive step-by-step -step guide to configure the database you need. Here is the list of databases supported for the export. If you already have a database you'd like to use, please proceed with the next steps. On the left side menu, select Databases and then select Create Database. Then uh, fill in all the necessary information, the title of your database, uh, select the database type, in my case it's MySQL, uh, fill in the host of your database, the port, uh, the database name, the username of your database and the password. And the final stage is to press validate connection. And after that, press save. Data sources can be configured under the Data Sources tab by clicking the Create Data Source button. Users should provide the data source with the name and select Tables uh, for the export. To narrow down the export results, user can apply basic and advanced JQL filters. Users can select as many tables and fields as required, no limitation here, but please pay attention that the export time depends on the amount of exported data, so it's highly recommended to select only the tables and fields that are required for the export and apply filters to narrow down the export results. This way, users can get exactly what they need in the shortest possible time. Jira software and Jira service management are fully based on the Jira work management. All the standard tables such as issues, workload, history and custom field as well can be found under the Jira work management tab. On the Jira software and Jira service management tabs, users can find some specific tables. The newly created data source has the not exported status and doesn't have a database connected to it. 
you should press Export Data. And if you may have skipped the creation of a database at the first step, please fill in the form on the screen to add the database configuration. If you have created the database, please uh, proceed to the next step and select Existing Connection. Then select the database you need and press Save. Uh, now the data source is connected to the database and we should press export data one more time. The data source status is changed to loading and after the export is finished, the data source status will be set to exported. If the export process takes too long, you can cancel it by selecting cancel export button uh, and any data exported before cancellation will remain in the dataset. The cancellation process may take up to a minute. Thank you for watching this demo. If you have any questions left, please feel free to visit our blog, refer to the documentation or contact our support. You can find all the links to the resources under this video.